So yeah, for today, what I thought would be cool to do is to, uh, because of the past couple of weeks of uh, the virus, and we are, uh, you know, we're stuck at home, and a lot of times we, you know, might spend a lot of time playing video games or watching TV, and I thought maybe we would just, you know, spend some time to create an app together, and so while we're waiting for more people to join. Um, Go ahead, and if you want to follow along with this uh, studio, uh, this tutorial, if you want to join along, code along with me, um, go ahead to this link here, um, App Inventor, where um, you need your laptop to access, and uh, I will be guiding you all to create an app together, and um, it will be a short app that I designed for specifically for this stressful time for everyone. And let me show you guys how it looks. Okay, so here is how the app look and I designed this app because I thought that it would it might be nice to have an app on our phone that we could open up and remind us to take a deep breath and uh, sometimes we might be very um, anxious in looking at the screen and looking at all the news that is happening. And so how it works is that there is a button at the bottom, which is hidden here. Uh, but whenever you click on um, give me a tip, um, you actually are able to, I'll, I'll show it again. The app would show you different tips to um, to take a deep breath and relax. So with that, I am going to start with our project. So, uh, yep, so let's go ahead and start a new project and let's call it a brief app, okay? So I'm on the MIT App Inventor um, web interface and the link is commented down below and if you want to follow along uh, definitely welcome to do that and how it works is that we will be using this uh, app designer to create um, the interface the design of our app and then we will go inside to our blocks to create our logic and our code So yeah, the next thing that we're gonna do is to remember our app. Uh, we have our title first, so we can call it, take a deep breath. And remember, so you can actually change this text to any colors and I'll change that to yellow because we'll have a background later on. Um, I will also change it to the width as wide as the screen. And also put the text in the center. So I know that this is uh, a little bit uh, difficult to read right now. So what I will do now is to upload a background image that I found just now. So it'll just take a minute to upload it on the on App Inventor. There you go. So we actually have our background image nicely uh, put in the mid in the screen. And what we need to do next is to add a an image. So we'll add an image here. And we will also add a text, which is, if you remember earlier, there's a quote that we show to our users that, hey, you know, look, 
no matter how like this is a quote that you can read and it will come uh will give us some uh give us some inspiration and lastly is a button for us to choose um you know to ask the the app to prompt us another uh nice relaxation So I will write down here, uh, give me a relaxing tip. And really, we can use whatever uh, we want to like to just prompt the user to click on the, um, the app. And what we will do is to go ahead and put in so I'll make it as wide as the screen. So here the width as fill parents. Um, I will also make our font size bigger just to um, make it easier to see. So what I want to do is that when uh, when the user open up the app, I actually don't want these two image and the text to show up yet. So what I will do is to choose to select the image here and click visible, like uncheck the visible. Next, we will do the same for label two, which is the quote label for us. And what I'll do here as well is actually to change it to the quote label, clicking rename here. So this will help us remember what these quotes, uh, what the label is for, because we have two labels on our screen. And then afterwards, we will change it to uh, we will actually change the fonts as well to yellow and change it to invisible for now. So comment down below if you, oh, the screen is not showing the coding. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So thanks for pointing it out. So I forgot to uh, switch to the screen here. So can you guys see it now? Okay. Thanks, Winnie. Okay. All right. Um, I think I'll move my face down a little bit. Okay. Thank you so much for your patience, everyone. I am still learning how to do this. This is very fun. And um, okay, I'll change where my screen is. And so, okay, let me start from the beginning. Yeah, so I'll start from the beginning. Um, what I did here is, yeah, what I did here in the beginning is to drag a label. So here is the App Inventor, um, here is the app inventor interface um, if you guys want to log in together um, and follow together uh, the first step that we need to do is to drag a label onto the screen so this is the label and um, okay and then i have changed the text to take a deep breath and what i did here is also to change the text color to yellow and the font size um, of 30. and next i want to change the background and so for the background image what i did is to choose the screen and um, change the background and by uploading a file it could be anything it could be a cat or a dog that you like uh, for me i change it to uh, a nice uh, peaceful screen of clouds and ocean and next now we can see the nice background with the text and 
Next, we have also included an image here. So the image is the inter is under the user interface, and we can actually um, drag the image onto the screen and click visible as uh, un uncheck the visible. The same thing we want to do for quote label, uh, changing the text to um, yellow first and then uncheck the visible uh, function as well. Now with the last bit is the button one. So button one is the first item on the interface. And what I did just now is to change the text to give me a relaxing tip. And next, we have our background color. I changed it to blue because it matches with the ocean. And also, I created, I made the font size bigger and so that it's easier for everyone to read. Awesome. So, well, after that, we have all the components that's needed on our screen. So what we need to do next is to actually upload a file, uh, up upload a couple of files. So I would upload the yoga file um, that I downloaded earlier. I would upload the bathtub file. And then I will also upload a meditate photo. So here is where you upload the um, files such that you can use it in the code area. So after you've uploaded three different images, like it could be other things than these three ones as well. Um, it doesn't have to be the same as mine. And we will go ahead and switch into our blocks. Um, and then we are going to also make the quotes visible as well, because when we first start the app, we had made the, um, made the, co uh, the two components invisible. All right, so there we go. We have finished our app tutorial here. And this is a quick app that we can do for this time of coronavirus. And we're constantly tense and basically feel like there's a lot happening. And I would really highly encourage us to try making this app. And what you can do to test this app out is to click the build function and choose uh, if you have an Android device, you can use the QR code um, to scan it and test it on your phone. If you don't, no worries, you can also save it on your computer. And there are Android simulators that are you can test out on your computer, uh, test your app out on your computer right away. Um, so I use BlueStacks and uh, Right now, I cannot, I, I cannot seem to show this uh, on the screen. But uh, basically, how it works is that you can download BlueStacks, and you can then use it to test out your apps uh, right on your computer. And so, all you need to do is to save APK file to your computer, and you will be able to play around with uh, your app. So yeah, that's it from me. And um, I want to pause here a little bit. I thank you so much for joining everyone. Um, do you guys have any Mar Marvin, thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, also Donna as well. So uh, do you guys have any questions or anything or, or any ideas of apps you would want to see tutorials for? Um, I plan to do the Facebook Live um, once a week at least. And yeah, comment down below if you have any ideas of apps or games that you think that might be fun to do together and i uh, love to hear from you guys thank you i'll see you in the next live <laughs>